Hey, it's Mike. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create an event um, on the Modern Languages uh, website using the Cascade system. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, after I've logged into Cascade, I'm going to cascade.wm.edu and log in. Um, and as long as I have permissions to do what it is that I'm going to do, you shouldn't have any problem following along. So the first thing is I need to find where the Modern Languages uh, page lives. Um, so I've got on my left hand side, I've got my base folder and my www.wm.edu subfolder. And inside that, I'll go to the Arts and Sciences folder, AS. And under AS, and I can either browse from the left or the right. I kind of like the right because there's more room to see. Um, I'm going to browse down, scroll down to the Modern Languages folder. And here's Modern Languages, so I'll click on that folder name and it'll open up Modern Languages, and inside here I decide um, what um, section I want to add this announcement for. Let's say I want to add an announcement. Um, well, first I need to go to Events, so I'll click on Events, and now I'll go to the section that I want to add an announcement for, let's say German. I'll click on German, and now you'll notice up at the top I've got all these breadcrumbs. So I'm at www.wm.edu slash as slash modern languages slash events slash German. Okay, so now I want to create an event. Once I'm in this events folder, I'm in the German events, and now I can create an event. So I'll go up to the top here on this task, the toolbar, and I'll click on new. And arts and sciences, and I've got all these options, and if I hover, I'll scroll down and I'll create a new event. Don't create an event arts because then it'll appear like on the main um, William and Mary pages, unless that's what you want. Um, but generally that's for big events. So let's say I'm showing a movie. So I'll click on event. And now I go ahead and I can add a title. So um, let's say I was showing um, uh, Wings of Desire, for example. So film Wings of Desire. I can put a summary in here. Um, whatever. Um, I can make that a top item. Um, I can, if I had a specific URL, I could add that here. I need a location, so let's say that's going to be in Washington Hall. 301, for example. And I can put Washington Hall if I want, or Washington, doesn't matter. If I had contact information that I wanted people to contact, I could put that here. Um, I'll just leave all the other default settings. Now I can say what time the event, what date the event starts. So let's say it starts November um, 10th, 2010. And I need the dashes. It needs to look exactly like this. And I want to put a start time, so 7. 30, for example, and you want to make sure it's p.m. unless you're showing an early morning film. And I can have an event ends time, but I don't need to do that. And I can put in a full description here, and I can do any sort of formatting I want using the uh, visual editor. And that's basically it. I can scroll down to the bottom now and hit submit. And if I have permission to publish, I can publish it immediately. If I don't have permission to publish, um, then I can just wait until midnight and then everything gets published all at once. And that's it. That's how you would add an event and then um, don't publish it unless you have the rights to publish it.